Okay, if you have a question for Fresno State, please raise your hand. Sammy, Joe, I think you raised your hand earlier if you want to go ahead. Hey, I was, I was raising my hand to ask to record. Can you hear me right now? Oh. Sammy, I just forwarded you an email. All of the recordings are going to go into a Dropbox that I forwarded you. Okay. Okay, cool. Then I will start. Haley, another dominant performance from the circle. Congratulations. How did it feel to face, you know, a Big Ten team and come out as dominant as you did with your 14th shutout of the season leading Division One? Uh, it felt good. You know, everything felt like it was working, and we truly as a team went out there with no fear, and you know, we weren't afraid to crash and burn, and I think that showed in our offense. They constantly put the pressure on, and it took us a few innings to finally string those together, but we we kept applying the pressure, and when it happened, it was it was meant to happen then, so then just shut down defense, and it felt good all around. Go ahead, Julia. All right, Haley, congrats on the win. Um, just this was your first NCAA tournament appearance. Um, just what was it like just stepping out into Easton Stadium under those big lights? It was exciting. You know, I was talking with one of my teammates before the game, and we were just saying how crazy it was to start as, you know, young girls watching this on TV, and now it's come full circle that we're allowed to compete in this. And we're just grateful to be here, and we're truly making the most out of every pitch, and I think that showed on the field tonight. Go ahead, Brianna. Uh, can you just talk on freshman Avery, your catcher, and just how your relationship with her has grown and then her making that huge play there to get the second out? I think just as a freshman for this to be, you know, your first postseason and, you know, having our starting catcher go down at the beginning of the year, who's a fifth year senior, I think she stepped into those shoes. She's owned it. You know, she has no fear. She's She's not scared of anything, not nervous for these big moments. And I think that's huge. And, you know, I trust her with everything back there. And she did a phenomenal job tonight. Any other questions for Haley? I'll go. Um, can you just talk on just you battling tonight, you know, coming back from behind the count and just, you know, just keep keeping it a sh shut out win there at the end. You know, I think the mentality for battling was, you know, at some point when you've only given up one hit or two hits, it's kind of like, let your defense work. Don't be afraid. Um, just keep attacking because, you know, they, they weren't adjusting to that inside pitch. And so for us, you know, we're just going to keep going at them until they prove us wrong. And then we'll, we'll change our game plan up a little bit. But I think that was the Definitely the mentality was just to keep attacking. And, you know, we've said at the beginning, why not us? And I think this was a good first showing. And we talk on the defense too, but if you can just talk on your teammates too, making, you know, both uh, like those two runs and the, the final run two coming on two outs. So just they're, they're, at, they're at bat. Like I said, from the beginning, you know, we were in it to win each pitch. And, you know, their swings and misses, they were hard swings. And then, you know, when we put up, you know, hits every other inning or every inning starting the second inning you know you're constantly applying the pressure to a pitcher that you know hasn't necessarily faced that yet and you know we're we're putting up three runs on her potentially at the end so this offense never gave up they stayed in each at bat and they they played with a purpose tonight and I think it showed Julia got anything hey, else yeah. Um, so you guys obviously have to wait for the UCLA Long Beach State game. Um, just what are you guys going to be doing? Are you guys going to stay there and watch it? Or are you guys going to head back to the hotel? Um, and also, do you have a preference on who you guys want to play? We are going to head back to the hotel, get some food in us, rest up for uh, the big games tomorrow. And as of a preference, whoever's the best team out of tonight, um, you know, you've got to play the best teams to win it and go all the way. So, you know, why not us? So we're just going full throttle. No 
Brianna can go again if you need to. Did you see two UCLA watching you up there, two in the back, hearing oh, at you guys? Yeah. No, you definitely see that. But, you know, they saw us at the beginning of the year, and I think they probably realized tonight we're a completely different team. So I think it was a good showing for Fresno State softball in the Mountain West tonight. Any other questions for Haley? Okay, we'll go ahead and excuse Haley. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you, guys. Bring, uh, Coach, we'll bring Coach Cox Thank in. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Okay, Coach Cox, if you can just have an opening statement about today's game, please, and how you feel about the win. Oh, I'm I'm so proud of this group of, of girls. You know, we talked a lot about um, the resiliency. We we had a plan and we executed that plan from the very beginning. Pitch one, we stuck with with what we wanted to do, and and we had a had a purpose, had a plan, and uh, I'm just I'm so proud of this. So proud of this team. Questions for coach. Go ahead, Brianna. Uh, coach, we asked, or I, rather, I asked Haley uh, about Avery tonight. Just a freshman playing in the NCAA tournament, making a big play there. Just kind of speak on, on on her development this season. She, you know, the, the kid works. She um, She's one that will ask to catch extra bullpens, um, you know, and, and just get to know. She did a really good job of getting to know the pitchers. And, um, you know, obviously, offensively, she came through with for us, you know. And, and like Haley said, losing, you know, a fifth-year catcher, that battery, you know, that hurts. Um, but Avery has absolutely stepped up. She's put in the work. Um, she's extremely calm back there. Big moments don't, you know, don't get her too high or too low. Um, and she's, she did an incredible job. Haley's tough to handle sometimes, and she did a really good job. Go ahead, Gonzo. All right. Hey, hey Coach. Um, sorry for the noise. I'm, I'm on top of the roof. Um, Skylar Broussard didn't have the best season at the plate. She struggled at times. She had some key hits during the season, but tonight in the biggest moments of the season, she came through for your team. How did that feel? No, no one's more deserving. You know, she's a COVID senior. So this is literally, literally her fifth year. Um, and no one's more more deserving than Skylar. You know, we um, we brought her up a little bit in the lineup because she's had her numbers don't show the last couple of weeks, but she's had some really good at bats. She's stung the ball, um, and she's just she's you know just had had some you know drew some walks, and she's got a super like a huge amount of confidence right now. So um, it, but like I said, no one's more deserving than that kid. And why not? Why not in regionals? And you know, step up and have one of the biggest hits of your career. I'm not sure who raised their hand first, so uh, I guess, Brianna, if you want to go, go ahead. Uh, we heard, you know, Haley say just a, a huge win for Fresno State. Can you just kind of speak on that, defeating, you know, a ranked Big Ten team, just, you know, what this means for this program? You see all that, you're lying you know, I think we're, you know, we're we're obviously super proud, and, and this um, – program has a lot of rich history. So we get excited to make our alum excited, you know, and we get excited um, to kind of hopefully follow in their footsteps. And, um, you know, anytime you beat, uh, you know, a, a power five conference team, it's a, it's a huge win, you know, not only for our program now, but, but those that, that came before us, you know, so, um, you know, we, we weren't, we were seated, you know, lower than Minnesota and we just came out and, and kind of put it to them. So it's a, it's a huge win for our program. <laughs> Anything else for coach? Yeah, ahead, Jody, Haley, Haley Dulcini, 13 strikeouts, two hit shutout tonight. Um, just how proud are you of her performance? So proud. And I, you know, if, if you guys had an hour, I would love to speak on her um, because she's the ultimate, she's the ultimate team player. She's the ultimate leader. Um, you know, she, she literally and figuratively said, come on guys, get on my back and let's go. And that's what she did tonight. Um, and I've always spoke on, on her work ethic and, and no one besides Skylar, of course, no one's more deserving, you know, um, like I said, ultimate team player. She, 
um, she puts in the work. She puts in the work. She does the, you know, the scouting and, and I'm, I'm just, I'm so incredibly proud of, proud of her. She showed up tonight. Anything else for Coach Cox? Go ahead. Yeah, Coach. Um, now you look ahead a little bit, right? And so you don't know who your opponent's going to be. We're going to see that in, in a moment between UCLA and Long Beach State. But you have some key decisions to make tomorrow. You, you have a game that if you lose, you still have another chance. How do you, as as a, as a coach, approach that situation of knowing that if you throw Haley Dolcini in that first game, it, it can mix and match in what you do if you lose, not saying you will. Yeah, and that's yeah. Thank you for reminding me. No, um, that's you know that's a decision we're gonna. Um, I myself and and our other assistant we're gonna stay and, and watch this game and kind of make some of those decisions, you know. And it's gonna kind of depend on um, how Dolcini's feeling. Um, Dariana Orm has been stellar for us these last couple months, and I I'm not afraid. We're not afraid to to go to her either. Um, so it's gonna kind of be you know we'll talk as a staff and and but you know you're still still looking to win to win every game you know so and we think you know anytime Dulcini's on the mound we have a chance and but I still like our, our chances with Dariana as well any other questions for coach Julia go ahead yeah coach we've been talking about the seniors here but what about Kayahi Matson? she you know brought that insurance run and her just being a freshman does it matter how big of a stage this is for a freshman like her you know what? I would normally say yes, but I think um, Ahi, who, what, how she goes by, she's a freak of nature. Nothing bothers her. Um, and she, you know, she came from a, a travel, a travel ball organization where they had some big games and they had some big moments. Um, and she's just, that kid is so steady. Um, she understands her swing. She, you know, probably kind of had an idea of what, what she was going to be thrown. And Normally, I would say yes. That's a huge, you know, a huge thing for for a freshman. But that kid, I mean, she was Player of the Year, so there's a reason why she's able to step up in big moments. Any other questions for Coach? Okay, I don't see any raised hands, so I think we're good to go, Coach. Congratulations, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, for everyone on the Zoom, the recording will be in that box link momentarily. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys.